serial car thief targets a dealership in Warren, and police need your help tonight finding her. Happened Friday at Cal's Auto Sales on 8 Mile, and surveillance video shows the woman entering the dealership, pretending to be interested in making a purchase, then takes off in a 2018 black Chevy Impala for a test drive and never returns with the car. We told her, take the test drive, don't go more than two miles. When you come back, we'll discuss more about the financing. I was amazed. I mean, like, she's, she's an expert. I mean, she, she actually comes in, and she's like, you know, she work, makes herself like she's so innocent. We're told the woman gave the dealership a stolen ID as collateral. Employees couldn't tell she was a fraud because of a face mask, they say. Police say she has done this now to a total of eight dealerships. An accounting firm has dropped the Trump organization as a client, saying a decade's worth of financial statements from the organization can no longer be viewed as reliable. It comes just weeks after the New York Attorney General uncovered evidence that the Trump organization used, quote, fraudulent or misleading valuations of its golf clubs, skyscrapers, and other property to get loans and tax benefits. The New York Attorney General is also seeking to have former President Trump testify in the case. A hearing on that matter is scheduled for Thursday. The United States is closing its embassy in Kyiv as the State Department continues to monitor a buildup of Russian forces at the Ukraine border. Meanwhile, fears of an invasion are having a significant economic impact here and around the world. The State Department taking no chances. There would be widespread human suffering. Moving all remaining diplomatic personnel in Ukraine out of Kyiv and into the western part of the country. We feel all of these actions were absolutely necessary. But the U.S. is not giving up on a peaceful resolution. A spokesperson for the Kremlin says Russian President Vladimir Putin is, quote, willing to negotiate. The path for diplomacy remains available if Russia chooses to engage constructively. However, we are clear-eyed about the prospects of that given the steps Russia is taking on the ground in plain sight. The White House says they are remaining in close contact with NATO allies and partners about the possible next step. President Biden has made clear that um, should there be another incursion into Ukraine, that, uh, that the United States would respond swiftly with severe economic consequences. The impacts of the tension felt at home. Right now, the American people are focused on their pocketbooks. Fears of invasion sent the Dow tumbling and oil prices soaring, reaching $95 a barrel for the first time since 2014. I do think the American people will support the use of our economic power through sanctions and some of their taxpayer dollars going to um, move troops to protect the eastern flank of NATO. Tonight, State Department also warning Americans in Belarus to leave that country immediately due to Russia's military building along the Belarus-Ukrainian border.